Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a lot of stuff planned. We are going to be cleaning everything up and I also, our coffee table finally arrived. So we are going to be putting that together sitting right over there. I can't believe it actually arrived. I ordered it twice and then I finally ended up ordering a slightly different one. So I'm hoping that we'll love it. But anyway, either way, we're gonna have a coffee table finally. So we're gonna go ahead and get that put together. And then a few weeks ago, I had asked if you guys would like to see like a homemaking style video where I do a lot of like food prep and meal prep and all of that stuff and you guys overwhelmingly said yes. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Of course, like I said, we need to clean everything up first, but then we're gonna hop in the kitchen and get a lot of things prepped out. We are planning to start juicing again, and I just wanna make some like proteins for the week and also just some meals and things like that. So we have a lot of things ahead of us. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. I wanna hear you say yeah. So in today's video, you guys are going to be getting a lot of different homemaking inspiration. Of course, as you're seeing right now, you're going to be getting lots of cleaning motivation, but I'm also going to be sharing a new way to meal plan. I'm really excited about this because I feel like we've been in a rut lately. And so I think this is going to be very helpful for not only us, but hopefully for you guys as well. And then of course, I'm going to be sharing some meal prepping and food prepping and all of that good stuff as well. So there's lots and lots of different things to look forward to in this video. So I hope you guys really enjoy. I wanted to ask you guys, how much time do you think that you spend in every day just cleaning your home? I feel like lately it's been more and more. I know I kind of mentioned this in one of my Christmas videos, but I feel like at the beginning of the year, I'm always feeling very overwhelmed and just ready to declutter everything and organize everything. But I feel like I'm already kind of starting to feel that this year just because I've been cleaning a little bit extra lately. So I cannot wait for the new year. We are planning lots and lots of decluttering. And then I also am planning to jump into a lot of makeovers. Kyle and I have been waiting on several rooms just for like different furniture pieces or honestly, even just the time it takes to paint and kind of organize that and plan everything out but I feel like once the holidays are over we can really focus on that and that is definitely going to be our goal so we want to kind of streamline our home and make sure that we are only keeping things that actually are used and benefiting us and of course organizing the things that we have and then also focusing on several rooms so we have like our guest room the boys bedrooms the upstairs theater room just like so many areas that we want to really focus on and of course our kitchen so we have a lot of things that we're planning on focusing Focusing on and I really just cannot wait.
So this is kind of random, but I'm just curious, do you guys like our old house in Utah or our new house here in Arizona better? I find myself kind of feeling both ways. Honestly, I feel like our new house serves us better. I feel like it's just kind of more what we're wanting right now and especially with all the outdoor spaces because I feel like we are constantly outdoors in Arizona which is funny just because I feel like everybody thinks Arizona is so hot and in the summer it really is but the rest of the year it is just beautiful and perfect and we just spend so much of our time outdoors so I really do love that aspect of this home but one thing that I do always find myself missing and kind of craving is that our Utah home was really pretty much done. We were finished, we finished our basement, everything was kind of updated everywhere, the painting was done, just all the things, and that definitely gives you a sense of peace when that's done. So I do kind of miss that aspect because as you know here in Arizona, it's not that way. We are still very much in the process of kind of making this home our own. But we did recently schedule some painters, so I think they're going to be coming in the beginning of January and I cannot wait. So that means we really need to buckle down and pick our paint color for our main living area because we have to have something picked out before they get here. So I'm really excited about that. But anyway, I was just curious if you guys had like a different preference of like which house was more your style or kind of like what decor you're liking better because that's also changed. It will not hurt my feelings either way. Just kind of curious what you guys like. Here I'm just popping some essential oil down into the drain. I have done this for years and it makes such a difference in how your drain smells, but I would love to know how many of you guys do this as well. So if you missed one of my recent videos, I shared an after dark clean with me, but I also did a lot more in that video than just cleaning. I organized our cleaning cabinet and I also made these trays for Kyle's and my siblings for the holidays. I love how they turned out. So if you are wanting to make something like this, they were very, very affordable. Definitely check out that video. I will link it up above for you guys right here so you can go ahead and watch if you did not see that one yet. Here I'm just wiping down our countertops and also our stainless steel appliances with my cloths. But if you have e-cloths as well and you're finding that they're not feeling super soft anymore, I did share also in that same after dark video how to deep clean those. So definitely check that one out if you have e-cloths and you kind of need to deep clean them a little bit more. It makes a huge difference. I got my friends all calling me. Stressed out because I realize I'm not the person I want to be. Sold out of my cheap thrills trying to keep up my modern life. So sad on these happy pills, but I know I'm gonna get it right. I got no worries, no worries got me no. I got no problems, no problems I can see no. I got this feeling, this feeling over me like. All right, the kitchen is all clean. It's looking so nice. I love the feeling when you clean like a full room, especially a full house, but even like a full room, it just, it's amazing. So next we're gonna move into the living room, kind of tidy this up, and then we'll start building the coffee table. But I also wanted to tell you guys, I had forgot that this is something I wanted to do today. Um, so I had this idea on changing up my meal planning, like way I go about it because I feel like we've been in a rut. So I'll kind of tell you like all the details of it, but definitely stay tuned for that because I'm really excited. I got this little label maker. I was going to use my Cricut, but I want it to be something that I can really, really quickly just update all the time. So stay tuned for that. I really think it's gonna be great. Um, but anyway, it's just, it's looking good in here. So I'm giving you a little update. And now let's tidy up the living room.
Now that everything is all tidy, I wanted to go ahead and get our floors cleaned and I'm so excited to be teaming up with Roborock today. We have had our Roborock robot vacuum for over a year now and about two months ago they sent us their newest model, the Roborock S7 and it has been incredible. We've had other brands of robot vacuums in the past but none have compared to the technology of the Roborock robot vacuums. One of the coolest upgrades to the S7 is the auto emptying dock. As you know, we have three kids, four cats, and a dog, so our floors need pretty constant attention. So we have our Roborock scheduled to vacuum our whole house every single day, and then it vacuums and mops on the weekends. The dustbin has a filter on one side and a large dust bag on the right side, and the way they designed the dust bag is really neat because when you pull it out to empty and refill it, it self seals to block any dust from being released into the air. Also, with our old Roborock robot vacuum, we were empty the dustbin every day but with the new auto emptying dock you only have to empty it every eight weeks it also has intelligent dust collection so you can pick in the app how often it empties or choose the smart mode like we do and just let it learn what's needed for your home Another improved feature on the S7 is the sonic mopping technology. It scrubs the floors up to 3,000 times per minute, and it's also an intelligent mop, meaning that it auto-detects carpet and actually lifts up the mop when it's going over carpets. That way, you can vacuum your carpets and mop your hard floors in single clean, and it also raises the mop head when docked and when it's finished, just to help things stay nice and clean. It also has a new all rubber brush, which is more durable, it helps to clean better, and it also is better at avoiding hair tangles. Another thing we love about their robot vacuums is the mapping feature. You can map multiple levels of your home so the vacuum isn't just randomly bumping around your home, but it actually knows where every carpet is, where every wall is, and you can block off any rooms or areas that you want to avoid. You can start the cleaning by pressing the button, scheduling it using your app, or even with Alexa or Siri to make it even easier. The Roborock S7 is is an investment, but since we've had the opportunity to try other robot vacuums in the past, I can say it is definitely worth it. You can find the Roborock S7 on Amazon as well as Walmart online, so I will have both links down below for you to check out. So if you've been here for a while, you guys know that I've had the hardest time with finding a coffee table. I think it's just kind of how everything is. It's hard when you're ordering online now, and even in store, things are not really stocked fully. And so I ordered this coffee table three different times. This is my third time ordering it. I actually had originally ordered a lighter color, like the... I don't remember what it was called, but it was just the lighter tone of the same coffee table though. And I ordered that one twice. And one time I waited like a month and then they told me they couldn't deliver it to my area and just, I don't know, it was like a whole long thing. And then the second time I ordered it off of Amazon and that order just randomly got canceled within about a week of ordering it. And then I decided to order this different color from Target. And this one did take about a month or so to get here but it did arrive so we finally have a coffee table and I honestly feel like it has made the biggest difference in our living room. It's made it feel more functional, it's made it feel more cozy and homey and I feel like we're actually starting to spend even more time in the living room now that we have the coffee table. I don't know what it is but it just has kind of transformed the space so you guys will have to let me know what you think of it. I still kind of wish that I had the lighter color, but I also think this one actually matches the wood floors really well, and because we do have a very light rug and then the light built-ins and everything, I think it actually could end up really good, but let me know what you guys think about it. What a dream to have a heartbeat What a way to spend my time walking on this satellite Everything I need 
Okay, so we have the coffee table all built and put in. We switched around. This is like how we had it when we first moved in. We had the two couches on both sides and then the chairs right here. A lot of you guys recommended that we swapped them. And so we had the chairs over here and the couch right here. And we felt like at the time it just made things more homey. But the Christmas tree is in and it's just like kind of crowding the space. It's perfect for Christmas, obviously. But with everything, I don't know, it just then like we kind of have to scoot the couch way over and it just makes everything feel very heavy over on this side. So I think, do you want to leave it like this? I think for it's Christmas? the best option for now, we'll see. I mean, after the Christmas tree goes, then maybe we would, like once the Christmas tree goes, then I would put the lamp over here and then it wouldn't be near as heavy. Yeah. Maybe we could switch it back. Yeah. Do you see the dust on that fireplace? Oh, that'd I'm be gonna... like super satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really want to wipe it. Actually, I already have a paper towel. <laughs> okay. But um, I don't know. So, you guys will have to let us know if you guys like it like this. I do also feel like the couches are just a hair too far away from the coffee table. But again, like with the poofs right here. So, I don't know. We'll kind of play around with it. But I think, I think this might be good for now. I think so too. And then maybe we'll just kind of play with it. But if you guys have any other ideas for anything, let us know. Also, I will say, so I don't even know if I'll, I'll like, if everyone's noticed this, but um, do you see, like, it's not, the fireplace is not centered on the wall. This set of built-ins is much smaller than that side. And so with that, it's like, when you want to put something like in the middle of the room, then it, all of a sudden like you notice that it's lopsided. So we kind of liked having like the couch here and then like the chairs of the Ottomans over on this side because it took up the same amount of space or like what looked like the same amount of space. Anyway, it does drive us nuts. So like some things in this house are just not, what is it? Symmetrical. Symmetrical, Nothing yeah. Symmetrical. Yeah, see that? I don't know. Like the fan, you know, the fan doesn't line up. <laughs> oh, either. actually I haven't showed you guys. So we got a fan put in. A different fan we had like a little tiny fan which just did not do anything for like moving air so we got that put in and then we also got a new light in Kyle's office but yeah I don't know I do like having a coffee table it does seem to kind of finish up the space yeah. a little bit more yeah it does but anyway any ideas you guys have let us know because you guys always have great ideas you ready yeah I'm gonna use sound effects okay Ooh. Ah, yeah. Look at that. That's all marked up. Yeah. Well, now it's just unsatisfying. Oh, yeah. We're going yeah, to have to like paint that. If we should paint this. Yeah. Which I guess it's not the biggest deal, but. The dust was just covering all the. <laughs> yeah, it was. All, all yeah, the scratches on it. Scratches on that. Is it? Oh, yeah. There's like a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Hmm. That's a bummer. We'll have to paint it, though. That is better, though. Okay, I got a little bit of a late start today and it's almost time to go pick up the kids. We do have soccer practice and all the things tonight, so I don't think that I'm gonna get to um, like cooking and everything and doing the food and meal prep, so I'll probably just do that tomorrow whenever they go to school, but I do think I have time to quickly do my little meal prep planning thing. So I'm gonna turn you around and kind of show you what the deal is. Okay, so let's start over here. This is our menu board. I actually made this with my Cricut and that part has worked out really great. But this board that I got from um, Hobby Lobby, like it, it just does not 
come off very well and like I have to use spray there's it's just like a whole thing and also I feel like I have just been in like the biggest meal planning rut lately as far as like deciding what we want for dinners so I was thinking it would be great if I just had a really easy way to like think of meals or like meals that we've had and then kind of sort through them so I saw this little container let's see I got it from home goods it's super cute and I was like oh my gosh I love it and then I couldn't think of like what I could use it for and then I had the idea so I basically like created a reason <laughs> to get it just because it was so cute so I then went and got a uh what are these called a label maker so like I said I was kind of thinking about using my Cricut but I want to be able to make it all the same and I want to be able to add new meals like just really quick so that's why i decided to use this and this isn't going to be like a cute you know permanent thing so that's why i decided to go with that and then i got these little craft sticks they're basically just little popsicle sticks and magnets the board my menu board is actually magnetic so what i'm gonna do is figure out like all the different meals that we make and type them up on the label maker add them onto the craft stick put a magnet on the back and then I can stick all of them into, into here. And then whenever like I'm making the meals for the week, I can either go through and like pick out different ones or I can just like randomly grab one and stick in there like that. And then I can just stick them to the menu board. So I think it's gonna work out really good and I think it'll definitely help like not be in such a rut. So anyway, that's kind of my plan. So let's go ahead and start with that. So with this label maker, I love that you can add in different fonts and kind of customize it that way. I mean, it doesn't look quite as good as like a Cricut one would, but it still looks really cute. But anyway, I just went through my recipes, the ones that I have kind of in my mind and in my own recipe folder. And then I also went through my cook with me playlist. I will link that up above for you guys and also down below, but that has tons of meal ideas and recipes. So if you are in a rut, definitely check that one out. And as I went through, I just started typing up different meal ideas. There's still more that I need to add later, but I ended up getting a good amount done. And then once I get those all typed up, I'll kind of show you my process from there. So hot and so Cool, can't help but say I freaking love you, love you Something about you, about you all of the feels, it's So I love how quick and easy this was. My plan is to actually have extra of these popsicle sticks handy to make any time I think of a new recipe or if I find a new recipe or come up with something, I can just quickly print it out with a label maker, stick it onto a popsicle stick, add a little magnet and be done. And I think it's just going to be something that's really beneficial for meal planning. Next, it was time to add all the magnets on. So I am just going to be hot gluing them and they ended up sticking really well, but I will be sure to link everything that I'm using for these if you're wanting to make these for your own meal planning. Nothing out there could ever stop me 
So for a quick little update, we have been using this for about a week now and we're loving it already. I know it hasn't been that long, but the boys have actually been really involved and just been having fun kind of picking out dinners out of the jar. And I'm really happy to not have to fight with this menu board each week, just like erasing everything and getting everything off the board. And I just think it's helping so much already with not being in like a meal planning rut. All right, so it is the next day. It has been a day already. It's like two o'clock, so I have just over an hour until I get, until I have to go pick up the kids from school. But I have just been busy all day long, working, like I've been editing, just doing a lot of stuff, getting a lot of errands done. And so I literally just got out of the shower, got my makeup on. I did not even dry my hair, so it's wet right now but I just want to get this done before the kids get out of school. I feel like I'm probably not gonna be judging my time well, so we'll see how much I can get done before they get home, but I just want to prep out some food so that we have it for the rest of the week. I wanna prep out a meal so we can have it for lunches and things like that, and then I also wanna prep out some protein, so. We have a lot to get done. I think I can do a lot or all of it. So let's get into it. Okay, so I kind of have a list here of things that I want to prep out just to make the week go a little bit smoother. So I want to first hard boil some eggs, or not really first, just these are the things and I'll figure out what order to do them in. But I wanna hard boil some eggs. I want to roast up some potatoes for the rest of the family and then a sweet potato for myself. And then I also, Kyle and I are really wanting to start juicing again. And since it's not, super freezing here in Arizona. Like the winter is perfect for us to juice. So we're gonna go ahead and just prep out some uh, like veggies and things like that for juicing. And then I also want to make jambalaya. I have this recipe on my channel, so I've shared it with you guys before, but it is one of our favorite recipes. It's super easy to put together. And it also is one of those recipes that like gets better every day that it's kind of sitting in the fridge. So that'll be perfect just to heat up for lunch and everything. So I'm gonna make that. And then I do have to go out to our deep freezer to grab some frozen chicken because I'm going to prep out some chicken, just shredded chicken for the week. Then we can add it onto salads. I can have it as like a meal starter for different meals this week and it'll just make everything go a little bit smoother. And then last but not least, I want to prep out some produce. So that's like strawberries, grapes, different things like that. And then also I wanna make like a big salad just to have in the fridge, ready to go whenever we want a salad, whether it's for dinner or to have with lunch or whatever the case may be. So. Like I said, I have kind of a lot that I want to get done, but I think if I kind of multitask, then I can get it done. So this is probably going to be like pretty casual. It's not going to be like super highly edited and it'll just be kind of hanging out with me while I do all the things. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is um, hard boil some eggs. So this is my little like hard boil egg maker. I love it because our boys actually can boil the eggs themselves. Also, it takes like no time at all and you don't have to focus on what you're doing. Like you can just kind of set it and forget it. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm just gonna take six eggs and set them in here. So 
So to do this, I'm just going to add in some chicken breasts. They can be frozen or fresh. Then I'm going to add in some type of like liquid. So you can either add in water or chicken stock. And then I also like to add in garlic and then you can just like add in salt and pepper. And then whenever I go to use it, I can season it up however I want. You can also do this um, by adding in salsa and it makes it like a Mexican style chicken. That's super, super delicious. But I'm just not sure like how we're going to want to eat it this week. So that's why I'm gonna do it a little bit more like generically so that I can really customize it whenever we go to use it. All right, once you have everything in your Instant Pot, you're just going to put that on manual pressure for about 17 to 20 minutes. Because I did have some really big chicken breasts in there, I'm just doing 20 minutes. And then I usually just let this like natural release. So just make sure that it's sealed and then you're good to go. Also, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can definitely just do this in your slow cooker. It will take more time. The recipe and everything is the same. You just would cook it for probably like four to six hours or until it like falls apart and it's all cooked. So now we're going to go ahead and start making jambalaya. So like I said, I do have this video actually already on my channel, so I am going to link that. But if you're not wanting to pop over there, I just figured I'd kind of share the gist of how to put this together. So first, you're going to start out by chopping all of your sausage, and then you'll put that into a large skillet on medium heat. And while that cooks, you're going to start chopping up your onion and green bell pepper. And then once the sausage has cooked down, you're going to add in your green bell pepper and also the onion into the pot and just let that cook for about five more minutes just until everything has kind of softened a bit. All right, while we are waiting for that to work, I'm gonna start chopping up some of my potatoes. Always 
So while the jambalaya is cooking down, I'm just going to start by chopping up my sweet potato. I used to not like sweet potatoes actually, and a lot of the family isn't a huge fan of them, or at least like not just by themselves like this. They're okay with them in casseroles and things like that, but they don't necessarily prefer them this way. But I actually only started liking them when I was pregnant with Luke, and my midwife suggested that I started eating sweet potatoes just because there is like a lot of health benefits from them, and they're just a better complex carb, so it was kind of one of those things where I didn't love them at first, but I kind of forced myself to eat them, and now I love them so much. They are so delicious, and you can really kind of season them however you want. I am just doing them very simply with salt and pepper, but another way I love to cook them is with like cinnamon. It makes them into more of like a treat and not so much like a savory dish. It is super, super delicious. So for the roasted potatoes, I am not going to be including a recipe card just because it is so simple. But you can just cook them in your oven on a sheet pan or in an air fryer like I'm doing here. Set it to 400 degrees and cook for between 20 to 30 minutes or until they are fork tender. You can season as much or as little and just toss them in oil. It is so simple to do and super versatile. Oh, Emily, when did the magic stop for? All right, now we're popping back over to the jambalaya. So now that everything has kind of cooked down and softened, we are just adding in two cups of rice along with four cups of chicken stock. And then I'm also going to be adding in some Cajun seasoning and bay leaves. If you don't like it really spicy or you're making it for kids, I do recommend adding maybe just half a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning and that way you can kind of skip out on some of the more intense spice. Then go ahead and just stir everything up, pop on the lid and cook on low for about 20 minutes. All the wishes in the world and I wish for you, I feel like I'm dying. All right, so for a quick check-in, I am doing pretty good on time. I actually got a lot done, but it is 2.55 right now, so I'm gonna have to leave pretty shortly. The chicken is working on being done. It has 16 minutes left. The sweet potato is cooking in the air fryer. The eggs are actually all the way done. I just have to get them put in an ice bath and then into the fridge. And then whenever the kids get home, I'll just finish up like the produce prep. It'll be good to go. How you love me electric like it We just picked up the kids, so they are home now, but the sweet potatoes are all cooked. Now I'm going to transfer these into a dish to store in the fridge, 
and whenever we reheat them we will just like pop them in our air fryer i feel like we use that for everything but you can definitely heat them up like in the microwave or um in the oven as well but i'm gonna swap those out and start cooking the potato wedges Now that the chicken has had some time to cook, we are just going to be shredding it up. So all you do is just take it out of your instant pot or slow cooker, however you're making it, and then take two forks and start shredding it up. Like I said, I just made this very, very simply with like just salt and pepper and garlic. But when I do it like this, I do like to usually add a little bit more seasoning or like barbecue sauce or something whenever you go to reheat it. And that way you can use it for several different styled meals. But this is perfect to be stored in your fridge for several days, or you can even pop it in your freezer. Okay, all the cooking is done or finishing up right here. I have the potato wedges, we have the eggs already in the fridge, and then I have our prepped out chicken, shredded chicken, the sweet potato bites, and then also the jambalaya. So now really all I have is like the salad and produce, and I also want to prep out some of the produce that I'm planning to use for juicing this week. My mom always has a big salad in her fridge. Every time I go to visit her, I feel like she always has just a massive salad in her fridge. And I love it because she doesn't just put lettuce in there like I typically do. A lot of times she adds in peppers or onions or carrots, things like that. And it just makes it a little bit more exciting than just, you know, a bunch of lettuce on your plate. And I feel like every time we go over there, we're just always eating salad at her house. So I used that as my inspiration today. I didn't go overboard and add a bunch of stuff in but I just went ahead and chopped up and washed some lettuce. I also added a little bit of arugula and then also some chopped bell pepper and it's so yummy just having a little something extra in your salad and I feel like it really does kind of make you more excited to eat salad throughout the week. And a quick little tip the next time you make salad at home toss some pepperoncini peppers on top. If you like those they are so delicious and I feel like it just takes your salad to the next level. Would you guys let me know if you have any suggestions on a fruit or veggie wash? 
I usually just wash it in water. If you've seen these videos, you know that's all I really ever do. But some of the produce that you can get has like a film on it, like some apples do and some cucumbers and things like that. And I kind of hate that. And I was wondering if it might also help just kind of keep them staying better in the fridge longer if I washed them with an actual fruit and veggie wash. So let me know if you guys do fruit and veggie washes or if you just wash them with water. And if you do, what brand do you use and where do you find it? Okay, so I have all of the juicing stuff prepped out. I'm actually not gonna prep out carrots just because all I have to do is just rinse them and then put them in the juicer. But this is the way that I found online works the best. So I haven't actually tried it, but a lot of things online said to wrap your cucumbers individually, wash them off first, and then wrap them in paper towels and store them in a Ziploc bag. So this is how I'm going to try out juicing. I've done it in different ways and I feel like this might be the easiest and just most effective way. So we'll kind of see how it goes. But I did want to share the juicing recipe, this is like our favorite juice to have. I just have Fuji or Fiji apples, lemons. So you add Fiji apples, lemon, and then cucumbers right here, and kale, and that is the juice. I also got carrots just because carrots sometimes like will add that in. It's not as pretty of a juice because it kind of turns it looking brown with like the green and orange, but um, it does still taste good and you get all the nutrients. So. That's our juicing recipe, kale, carrots, apples, and lemon. I know the lemon sounds a little bit weird, but it's so good and it just like brightens it up. So if you are gonna try juicing or if you juice already, definitely try that one out. It's super delicious. So prepping out things like grapes and strawberries might seem a little bit silly, but really any steps that you can take in the beginning of the week or just all at once really does save so much time later on and it also definitely encourages healthy eating because it removes any excuses no matter how big or small the excuse is. Some days any extra work you have to put in is going to deter you from those healthier options. But I would love to hear what you prep out at your home. Do you prep out snacks, full meals, just produce? Do you not prep anything? Definitely no wrong answer, but it's just amazing what a big difference it makes during the week and it also saves a lot of money because you're not wasting food and it also saves a lot of time in the kitchen every single night. And for me personally, it just relieves a lot of stress knowing that we have a lot of options already prepared in the fridge. So if you are not already doing food prep during the week, I would definitely suggest looking into it. It can just save a lot of headache for you later on. And if you do already food prep, I would love to hear what exactly you food prep every week and which thing has the biggest benefit for your home. Mama said, don't be a quitter, and you'll end up all right. 
Looking back, I remember she was probably right. Been knocked down, I've been beat up. And what can I do? I'm making it through. Honestly, the last thing that I want to do right now is a sink full of dishes, but I knew that I was not going to want to do these later on once I actually went out of the kitchen after working in here for a few hours. So if you also have dishes in your sink right now, this is your sign to tackle them. There's still a few minutes left in this video, so I challenge you to get up right now if you are able to and pop into your kitchen and just start tackling those dishes. See if you can get all of them clean or loaded in the dishwasher or at least have some of them washed and let me know in the comments how much you ended up getting done by the time the video ends. So that is going to be everything for today's video. I definitely included a lot in this one, so I hope you guys enjoyed having a little bit longer video today. I also wanted to remind you to check out the Roborock S7. Again, I will have those links down below for you guys. If you are still needing some cleaning motivation or want to watch some home makeovers or see more of the recipes that I've shared here on YouTube, I have tons of videos. So I'm going to go ahead and link a playlist right here so you can check those out. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already, and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.